Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another MLB Perfect Inning 2018 video, and welcome to No Money Spent Monday. I believe this is episode 4. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's episode 4 today. I have just a couple packs to open, nothing too crazy, but then I am going to do a boost attempt on a player. It'll be hopefully pretty exciting. We'll look at the team, which really won't change much besides that one boost attempt. And then we will jump into our ranked head-to-head -head game for this video. First things first, we have some stuff to open. We have a 200 million GP box. That's pretty nice. We have this Player of the Month National League package. Yeah, it's a little bit old. But I saved it for this video to open it. Get 2 million GP, 150 diamonds, some mileage as well. We also have the Club Level 7 Achievement Gift. Getting 82 plus drafts, which as a free to play player is huge. We have some clear mission gifts, get about 12 million there, and another 3 million. And we'll open our player of the month packs. Maybe we'll get something decent. Chris Bryant. Yeah, I mean, it's free. It's a free 120 million GP worth. And boom! A Roldus Chapman just under 2 billion from that 82 plus draft. I didn't have any expectations. I wasn't trying to hype that pack up or anything, but this might be the best pack I've gotten on this account in, honestly, six months. That'll make boosting a little bit more interesting. I'm going to boost Johnny Bench. The reason for this, we're on an event right now where it only costs 70% of the base price to boost a player. Johnny Bench, very expensive, but also very, very good. So I can boost him for just under eleven billion when it normally might be in the fourteen to fifteen billion GP price range to boost him. Now I got this brand new Chapman that I'm immediately going to put into this. I'm also gonna burn off some of these plus fours just because if they aren't gonna sell well, they're good as boost materials. And we also have boost trainers being doubled, so we have a bunch of cards combined. Gives us a seventy percent chance. With the B-grade trainer, we are losing our old plus 5 David Price, a plus 4 Altuve, plus 5 Justin Wilson, Sonny Gray, and Masahiro Tanaka. I am also finally getting rid of Hector Santiago, 1.2 billion GP. I bought him at the beginning of Perfect Ending 18 for 70 million GP, so I turned 70 million over the course of something like eight months, into 1.2 billion GP just by sitting on him. I never intend to use him in a game. Even with the screwball being nerfed, I don't think he's the most fair card to use. So here we go. Really hoping the 70% succeeds. If it fails, it's going to be a bad mood for me the rest of this episode. Thankfully, it succeeds. Bench now a plus five. I'm gonna move him to training get him trained up once here and then we'll have our actual game get going boosting his throwing that is good whether he stays in left field where i have him currently or if we ultimately move him behind the plate again and now for the game we're playing a noob team if i don't put up at least 10 runs i'm gonna consider it a personal loss i mean he's got three guys below 50 this isn't even going to be fun. You know, I'm going to throw all fail pitches. We're going to call this the only throw fail pitches and win challenge. And Bartolo does give up a single to left. But again, a team this bad, I don't want to truly disrespect him. But I also need to make it a competitive game. And on the ground to third, Arenado Fields, and that is a 5-4-3 double play. Aaron Judge, probably one of the only good hitters on this team. Again, we're throwing all fail pitches just to make it interesting. Just to make it interesting. And he pops out to first. Now we'll see what my offense can do. I'm going to make this also for offense. Singles only unless I hit it over the fence for a home run or a ground rule double. So I'm going to have to move one base at a time because this team is so bad. And I think I'm playing the AI. 
I really want to build some challenges and actually have to earn a win in this game. So that normally would be a double, but I'm saying it first with the single. Then on the ground to first. Trout does move up to second, but there is one out. All right, the 0 1 on its way to Chris Davis. That is hit well to center. I can move from second to third, I can move one base. At a time. And that's a very reasonable sack fly. If you get the ball deep enough to center, you might test a weak-armed outfielder. Fail pitch, two-run home run, Johnny Bench. And I think, based on that alone, we've won this game. The question now, can I get to that 10-run goal while also kind of blatantly tanking the game? But Rosario lines out to short. We're headed to the eighth of a 2-0 ball game. And Stanton singles to right on the fail pitch. Okay. Actually fielded by Stanton himself. Martello just throwing 98 mile an hour fail pitches. And that's hit to center. Trout looked kind of slow running out there, but he made the catch. So there's one out. Literally just throwing fail pitches, and there's another double play. Another 5-4-3 double play. This, it's not even fun, but hopefully it's fun to see me obliterate what amounts to the AI without even trying. I guess, if anything, I'm blatantly not trying. The only thing I could be trying less at is I could literally take every pitch. And you know what? Yes, I have a base runner on. I'm going to take every single pitch. Full count. It's going to be interesting to see if I strike out. I do strike out, okay? There's out number one. We've got another full count. Last time we struck out. This time, what will happen? We strike out again. I could have swung. It's just, it's not fun playing a team this bad. Now, I am actually going to hop in here. Jan Gomes is first at bat with the team. And there we go. He delivers a single. I'm sending the runner to third. All right, a 2-2 two -two count here. I could strike out. This isn't fun. Yeah, I struck out. But, you know, I figured I wanted Jan Gomes to get his first hit. And ultimately, I'd need two walks to score the runner from third anyways. Now Bartello going to close this out with some more fail pitches. There's their single. But they're likely going to hit that guy into a double play and then pop out or something, and it will be game over. It's incredibly predictable, assuming that I'm not wrong about my predictions. And there it is. That's a double play ball. So now there's two outs, and then if this is a pop out or a fly out, this game would be incredibly scripted from the AI. All three innings would be a single, a double play ball, and a fly out. And I guess not truly scripted. It is another ground out. But we win 2-0. Again, you guys can see I literally was trying as many ridiculous challenges as I could within a single three-inning ranked head-to-head -head game. Just completely disrespecting what Gameville told me was a ranked head-to-head -head worthy opponent for this team. I won 2-0. I faced the minimum number of batters, although yes, I did give up three hits, but I was also throwing fail pitches every single time, and nothing was hit for more than a single. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you're new around here, subscribe for more MLB Perfect Inning 2018 content. In the comments, let me know what else could I have done to give this AI opponent a chance to actually win? Besides literally not trying on offense and literally not trying on defense and letting every base runner get on base, only catching fly ball outs or getting strikeouts on fail pitches, and then literally doing nothing on offense. I mean, there was like no way to lose this game. That's going to do it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, and as always, peace out.